All right. Everything in Python is an object. Functions are also objects. Okay. Even the values are objects. Uh, and the variable names or identifiers that we uh, use are also um, they are kind of um, associated or they are used as a reference to the objects okay so uh, what I mean by that is when you write a equals to 1 b equals to 1 so here 1 is an object a and b are variables or identifiers right name of a variable and they are associated uh, or they are used as a reference to the object so a refers to 1 b refers to 1 when you define a function this is how we define a function let's say we have some name of the function right and here we write some code or some statements um, so this name of function can be different okay and for the same code you can use different name for the function all right okay let me show you this simple example here so a equals to 1 b equals to 1 if I compare their IDs their, their addresses you will see they have the same address right because this is this address actually belongs to this object one okay a and b they are variable names or identifiers they are used with the object just reference they are just um, they're acting as a reference to the objects right and functions are objects too and different names can be associated or bound to one function so what I mean by that if let's say I create a function to add two numbers okay I'm going to add two numbers a and b all right I'm going to call this function so the result is printed here and now I'm taking a name um, another variable or an identifier BCC and I am going to write here add so as you know how this uh, operation works when you write something like this the value is assigned from right to left okay so if I use BCC now with some let's say different values you can see this code now gets associated with BCC okay in other words you can see these statements are the same right and these statements can be associated to different names all right so um, now let's see how functions can be taken as an argument or sent as an argument to another function so in this video uh, we are actually going to take a very simple example to understand how um, functions can be taken as an argument or sent as an argument and we will also see how we can return functions uh, in, a, in a different video lecture so um, basic idea here is that if you want to send a function as an argument to another function you have to have two defined functions I'll show you what I mean here so let's say I have a function called hey okay and it is taking an argument a all right so in this function a is also a function since we are passing a function as an argument to another function and he is the function and this is the function that a is the function that we will pass to he when we will call it okay so a is also a function that I'm passing to function he so this means that I need definition 
for hey and a right so first i need to define a function all right so i will define a function so for that i would write let's say a function prints a simple message hello okay all right um yeah and then i will define another function hey and since it is you know it will um, get an argument as a function here i can change the name so i'm taking it as b and this is also going to be a function right we don't know what it is going to be all right um okay now here b is an argument to catch the parameter pass to hey and since the parameter is a function b uh, since this parameter is actually going to be a function so uh, function a obviously we are going to pass function a so this parameter is going to be a function so b is also going to act as a function i'll repeat it again um so here this argument b is an argument to catch the parameter passed to hey at e y function and since the parameter is a function b will act like a function as well which also means we can call it from inside hey right we are calling it from inside hey and hence b is acting as a function here let's try another example all right let me show you how you are going to call this function here so um just a minute okay mm -mm. so i'm going to call hey and i'm going to pass a okay so when a is passed it goes here it gets called right so a function gets called and it will print hello okay all right let's try another example with two arguments i'm going to close this window and i'm going to take another example um and i here i want to perform multiplication and i'm going to take two arguments here so instead of having a function being called just like that i'm going to have some parameter p here and i want this function to print um this variable gets multiplied 10 okay all right and now i also need to change hey function h e y hey function so instead of um catching just one parameter now i also need to have q so b is going to um act it is going it's going to act as a function a and uh, when it's going to act as a it also requires this parameter and uh, i'm using q for that all right so b q okay because b will act like a function a and this a function requires some argument so q will be passed as a function is called through b inside hey hey function all right and the call will be um when we call hey h e y we need to pass 
the actual parameter so hey function will be called and I want to first I'm going to pass a function a function and since I also require some parameter I can pass anything I am going to pass to here and as you can see when we call hey this function definition will be executed a is passed so b becomes a 2 is assigned to q and when I call this bq a p gets called and the result will be printed on the screen so this is how you can take a function as an argument or you can pass a function as an argument to another function.